the main thing that people don't know is that it has changed from a two-year screening to a five-year screening. And primarily now, instead of cytology-based screening, it is primary HPV test. I'm a cytologist, mm -hmm. so basically I sit in front of the microscope all right, day okay. and look at slide <laughs> after slide of cells under the microscope. And I basically look for abnormal cells, sure. uh, abnormal cells that uh, might indicate cervical cancer mm -hmm. or anything in between. So I'm, I'm going to assume that you're very up to date with your screenings. Yes, I am actually. Yes. Yeah. I, are you up to date with your screening test? Look, to be honest, I didn't. I don't really didn't know that it was no longer a pap smear. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, no, I'm not up to date. Um, I was due beginning, I mean, I was meant to have a test done beginning of the year, but due to multiple factors, I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. If you haven't had a screening test since December, of 2017? from the beginning of, of 2017, okay. then you're due. Okay, so I could be positive for HPV, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I've got cervical cancer. No, definitely not. So HPV virus is quite common. And there, there are a number of types of HPV. So if you're positive for HPV, your own body's immune system can get rid of it six to 12 months. What strain, I guess, of HPV that you're positive to, mm -hmm. does that alter whether you have to have tests a bit more frequently? Yes, definitely. If you're positive for your 16 and 18 mm -hmm. and or 18, you're referred for colposcopy. And then in that procedure, then they can decide whether they see any abnormalities mm -hmm. with a colposcope and, and decide whether they would do a biopsy. If you have uh, the other mm -hmm. HPV type, if you're positive for that, because it is not as high, high risk. risk as the other two, mm -hmm. depending on what your cytology shows, sure. most of the time uh -huh. you're asked to come back in 12 months to have okay. another HPV testing done. So is, is uh, having a cervical screening test something that you talk about with your friends, family? Not at all. No, I, no it has never come up in conversation. Yeah. But after this, definitely, mm -hmm. especially what you say about trying to eradicate you know, cervical cancer from Australia, that I'm definitely going to, like I said, catching up with the girlfriends on Friday night. So yeah. I'll start there, seeing the family next week. So got to get on to my mum. <laughs>